quite sure that everybody wants to discover how to make a million dollars just with vlogging. Well, it won't be a secret anymore. Discover the story of a man who has traveled to every country on the planet. Please welcome Johnny Ward to the stage and up to now as the moderator. Thank you. Good, thanks. How's it going? How's the day going? Uh, it would have been better Did if we didn't even? drink so much red wine last night, but <laughs> it's okay. okay. In the welcome dinner, yeah, I saw you yesterday. Uh, so, a um, lot of people uh, might have seen your story earlier this year. Um, can you please tell us about your story in short uh, summary? Sure. Um, so, I'm from Ireland, uh, and... Uh, Originally then, I come from quite a poor family, single parent. We grew up on welfare, and we never had any money to travel, never went to, on a holiday or anything like that. So then, um, when I was younger, and I would see my friends go on holiday to Spain or whatever with their family, and we could never go anywhere, so I really wanted to be free. So as soon as I finished university, the next day I went traveling, but I had no money, so I, was an, I became an English teacher in Thailand. Um, and I lived there for a year, and then I started backpacking on a super tight budget, like $10 a day, because I had no money. So my budget was like $300 per month, traveling, sleeping in bus stations and trains in Pakistan and Sri Lanka and China, whatever. Um, and then I started blogging to talk about my journey, to, sh to try to show the world that you don't have to come from a rich family if you want to travel. Everyone can travel. You, maybe you can't stay in a nice hotel, but you can still experience the culture and, and you can see the world. But then advertisers started contacting me and my blog started to make money and then more money and more money. And uh, then I started to understand how you can monetize a website. So I started some more blogs, started hiring people. And then once I was making enough uh, money online to be free, then I decided to try to become the first person from Ireland to visit every country in the world. So then I spent 10 years traveling full time to, to visit every country in the world. And now I'm here. <laughs> Good. Uh, when did you visit Turkey for the first time? Uh, oh yeah, Turkey, I think I visited 2013. 2013? I'm thir now I'm 34. I, I came here for my 30th birthday. Okay. I went to watch a Galatasaray game. <laughs> cool. Um, so, uh, you could able to settle down in a country, in a city, and live your life in that city, in that country, for your whole life. But, but what was the real uh, inspiration, motivation, and what really drove you initially to visit 197 countries? Actually, initially, my plan, I didn't really plan to visit every country in the world. This is a list of the countries that <laughs> yeah, I visited. Yeah. Um, I, want, I just wanted to be free, and I'm sure everyone who works online, they can understand, I just wanted to be free. I don't want to have to talk to a boss to take two weeks off holiday, you know? I want to just be free to travel anywhere. And then I kind of accidentally visited 50, just by traveling, and then one day I counted them. Accidentally? Accidentally, yeah. <laughs> uh, and it was 50, and there's roughly 200 countries in the world, so I, th I thought, oh, okay, I've been to one quarter, maybe I can do them all. But actually, the, the goal was to be free. And then, when my story went viral about making money, actually, I was, for years I was blogging. You know, they have this cliche that says, uh, I've been working all my life to become an overnight success, you know? So people think that it just happens like this. But I was blogging and blogging and blogging for years and only my grandmother and my mother were reading, you know? And, uh, and on my blog, I was always talking, trying to convince people that you don't need to live the same life that everyone lives. You don't need to go to university, work nine to five, take two weeks off, and go to the same holiday every year. It's, I think it's boring, right? And I know a lot of people do that and they're miserable. So I, I try to use my blog to show people that you don't have to live this lifestyle. And I blog for years trying to tell people this. And then I write, when I made my first million, I wrote one article that said, okay, I, listen, I made a million dollars blogging. And this went viral. And for years I'm trying to tell people, travel here and do this and be free and it's beautiful. And it has to be the bloody money story that goes viral. And now everyone just cool. wants to talk about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you 
million dollar uh, story a couple of minutes later, but before that, what kind of challenges did you have while traveling all of those countries? I, 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 mean, I mean, I bet you had uh, really unique experiences. Could you tell us some yeah. of them? So actually, like when, when people hear that I've been to every country in the world, if I'm in the pub or whatever, but even here when I met the other influencers when we went for dinner the night, what people sit down and they're like, every country, what about Somalia? <laughs> yes, I've been to Somalia. Okay, what about North Korea? Yes, every country. This is me in Somalia, actually. Uh, uh, not looking so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this yeah. guy in the back corner. Your friends? Huh? And this is to Yemen. Yemen was my second last country. And obviously there's a war, it's, it's a very sad situation, but I ended up meeting the grandson of the king of Socotra, the Yemeni island, and he bribed the immigration, and I spent four days on this boat to, to get to Yemen. Wow. It was my second last country. Uh, yeah, it was a crazy experience, but it's fun. Um, and then this is me in Afghanistan. Actually, I took my mom on holiday to... <laughs> <laughs> This is in Kabul, in Kabul, Afghanistan. And actually, oh, this was the day, this was the day after my first time in Turkey. And this picture in the top left-hand corner, it was my 30th birthday and I got really drunk the night before. And I had a flight at 9 a.m. to uh, Kabul. And my mom was flying from Ireland to Kabul too. And I felt, I was, I was still kind of drunk in the morning and I, I went on the airplane to Afghanistan, Afghani Air or something, it's a terrible airplane. And I fell asleep. <laughs> And I fell asleep in the plane, 50% hungover, 50% drunk. And then I woke up and everyone was getting off the plane. I was like, oh shit, okay, I'm here, I'm here. Because my mom was meeting me in the airport. So I got out of the airport, got stamped into Afghanistan, went to pick up my luggage and my luggage was lost. And I said, oh, guys, yeah, you've lost my luggage. And they're like, um, can I see your baggage tag? And I was like, yeah, here. And they're like, no, your luggage is going to Kabul. I'm like, yes. Kabul. And they're like, this isn't Kabul. <laughs> this is Kandahar, where, the, where um, Al Qaeda had just attacked the airport. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and my mom was already in Kabul waiting for me, and I'm in the south of the country anyway. So yeah, there's a lot of adventures on the way, but <laughs> it was fun. Have you ever think of uh, writing a book out of your uh, old experiences? Sorry? Writing a book? Yeah, I think about it, you know, but. I like business, and there's not so much money in writing books. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's um, talk about this first one million dollar. When did you make it? Made my first 2013. Just with blogging, right? Just blogging, yeah. Yeah. Now I have different investments. I see. I, I, we could do another conference about cryptocurrency, but I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. Yeah, I'm, I, I was going to ask, where did this uh, one million go? Right. Uh, Did you invest on Bitcoin? I drank a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I invest a lot in property. Because I, th I feel like a lot of the influencers will know when you make money in the, uh, online, it's like you're getting money just from the air. It's strange. Um, so then I try to take it and then I put it into something tangible, like property. We or should crypto. stand together if this money is coming from the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. So... Um, this story went viral twice, actually. First, visiting, um, no, first having one million dollar, yeah. and then uh, visiting 197 countries altogether. So, um, what can you suggest those people who are planning to do the same things, like not, I'm not mentioning the visiting all of the countries, <laughs> but the making money part of the story? I feel like, of course, money's not the, I really love this thing, right? So actually, I spoke at a conference just about this. So my idea is about making money. It's not, of course, money is not the most important thing. For me, it's not the most important thing either, even though I know my story went viral because of it. The most important thing is to be free, right? And I wrote this article about what it is to be sane, sanity. Um, and this article went viral, actually. So this is how a normal company works, even your company, hotel companies, any company, it works like this. And if no, you so I, I feel bad right now. I see my title, Vice President <laughs> on the Ford. Yeah. But the, the whole point of, this, of, of me talking about this is that, of course, every system is a pyramid, right? And you start at the bottom, and you spend 40 years to try to get to the top. Maybe you start working at 25, and you hope to be CEO at 65. And everybody does this. And if you tell your family you're going to go and do this with your life, they'll say, 
good work, Johnny. That's a respectable job, and it's a normal thing to do. Good luck. And you fight, and you fight, and you fight, and there's only a small space at the top, so lots of people fall. And you spend 40 years to get here, and the chances are also quite slim that even you will succeed to get to CEO. And you spend 40 years, and that's normal behavior. But I say that if you follow your passion for me blogging and traveling for these guys, Instagram or YouTube, whatever, if you just take that dedication for two or three years, you can just bypass this whole system. You know, Maybe you make $500,000 a year at CEO, and it takes you 40 years to get there. If you spend five years working equally as hard all day, every day, seven days a week for five years, you can jump straight to $500,000 a year. You don't have, and you don't have to take 40 years to do it. But if you were to tell your family that you're going to quit your job and follow your passion, they'll tell you you're crazy. Yeah. But they think to spend 40 years to fight this is not crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, you're right. So um, blogging is kind of old when compared to influencer marketing like Instagram, YouTube. Uh, I remember it, like in 2005, uh, I have reading blogs. I was writing blogs as well for myself as well. But right now, uh, Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook are taking over. So what do you think about this? Do you think the blogging will die or no, it will continue or not. how will it I'm going to say something that everyone here is going to hate because it's full of Instagrammers, but social media is for your ego and blogging is for your bank account. I really believe that. Wow. The real money is in a website. Because if you're, relying on, if you're relying on someone else's platform to make your money, that could fall apart at any time. But when you have your own platform, like a blog or a website, then you're, you're in complete control of your, of your finances and of your destiny. So, and also, I feel like, I don't know if you guys know what SEO is, search engine optimization, right? So basically, when you search what is the best hotel in Istanbul, the best SEO article will finish top. Maybe it's Ritz Carlton, maybe it's Four Seasons, whatever. So as long as your SEO is, uh, is strong, blogging can never die because everything that people ever search for, on, they go straight to Google. So of course, they need articles to read. So would you suggest to Instagram or YouTube is to open a blog and create content on that? I, I would tell every, with YouTube I know you can obviously make money with advertising, but it, even that's, unless you're huge, is quite difficult. With blogging, you can make, within a year you can, be, you can make, if you do it right, you can make six figures, you know? Mm. But then it depends what people want. For me, <laughs> like this whole, you know when you're a kid and people say you want to be rich or famous? Like I don't understand, would you rather, to, to have money is to be free, right? I don't think it's the most important thing. I think freedom is the most important thing, and money is the platform to get there. And blogging will give you that. To own a blog will give you that. But now I feel the millennial generation are more concerned about how many followers they have rather than are they free. So it depends what you want. For me, for me I want to be free. That's more important than having two million followers. What, what's your next challenge? Uh, I'm doing... A <laughs> I've never, I always wanted to do a marathon, but because I, I was traveling full time, I couldn't train. Um, and I wanted to do, I really want to go to the North Pole. And then actually there's an Irish guy who runs a company that you can do a North Pole marathon. So in April, I'm flying to the North Pole to do a marathon there. Um, but then more important for me again is, I feel like, and I hope this resonates with the audience here, is that when, you're, when we're fortunate, fortunate enough to have a platform, so my blog has a, a lot of followers and readers. Um, and I know guys here have got millions of Instagram followers, YouTube followers. I feel like it's, it's really, we need to have responsibility to understand that we have a positive message. And I don't think, again, this is, people are going to get offended, and I'm sorry, but I don't think the most important thing is showing that you have a nice ass and an Instagram photo, you know? I think, <laughs> I think more important is if you've got those followers, you should use those followers for something positive, to make a positive impact. So since finishing every country, uh, me and my co-founder, Josh, we started a... Obviously, travel is a big thing in my heart, so I thought, how can we use my platform, my followers, to do something good? So I was traveling through West Africa in 2015. I was in, we were in Ivory Coast in Liberia. Actually, we got arrested. We smuggled ourselves into Liberia because of the Ebola crisis, and the border was closed and got arrested. It's a long story. Um, but during that time, if you travel a lot, you understand that it's a very big privilege to be able to travel. We're very fortunate to be able to travel. Um, and I feel like the future of travel, I hope the future of travel will involve people understanding that they're lucky to travel and then perhaps spending a portion of their time and their effort and money on their trips to do something good. So what we've started to do now is we run tours uh, four times a year, that it's a two-week trip. 
But for the first three or four days, we build a school, we build a, a dormitory, we build playgrounds for kids, and we use my platform, my followers, to fundraise for that, and then they come along with us and travel. Uh, so we have four days doing the project, and then 10 days traveling around the country. And I feel like when I go home and sleep at night, I feel good that I'm using my platform to, to, for a, a positive effect. Um, so we're going to try to grow the charity bigger and bigger. It's our plan. Well, well, uh, well it's, it's a very good point. I think that uh, most of the influencers nowadays uh, looking for this because they know that they have the power to influence and reach millions of people, thousands of people, and using this power for something positive is kind of different. It's m bigger than like bigger than maybe one million, or bigger than money, or bigger than sure. numbers. For sure. Uh, so thank you so much for your inspirational story. <laughs> sure. I'd like to ask if we have any question from the audience. Yeah, we have over there. Nice to meet you. Your story is very impressive. Thank you. So I come from a Lebanese father and a Romanian mother. I'm sure you've been to Lebanon and to Romania. What did you like yep. about <laughs> Lebanon and what did you like about Romania? Actually, Lebanese food is my favorite food. It but you know, when, when I went to Lebanon, it was before I made any money. It was before I started blogging. I was so broke. I had to sleep on the roof of this building with just, it, and it was raining, and I just had a blanket on the roof of a building. So I didn't really get to experience everything that it has to offer. And Romania, yeah, I love Romania, actually. Sometimes I think about living in Bucharest. I think it's a cool city. I, I, I think in Eastern Europe is a strange, it's also uh, some countries in Western Europe, I find it strange, somewhere like Bucharest, which is, almost as developed as, as Ireland. You know, it's a beautiful city, all their architecture, but it's super cheap as well, so it's a nice place to live. Thank you. Do we have any other question? Hi, Johnny. Hey. Uh, loved your speech, mate. Um, one point you mentioned, which really caught my attention, is that social media is for your ego and blogging mm -hmm. is for your bank account. Do you think you can use social media to monetize your blog? Yes. I mean, what 100%. techniques would you suggest and what tactics? Yeah. And, and that's what actually what I encourage a lot of people. If, if you're an influencer and you've got a million followers, people think that you're making all this money, but actually it's quite difficult to monetize sometimes so, or to a certain level, you know? I, I feel like you can make six figures with social media and seven figures with blogs or eight figures with blogs. That's in my opinion. But if you're already in the situation that you have a million followers or half a million followers or five million followers, then I would still encourage people to then start a blog, build your brand. And normally, like I said earlier, was you can jump from, a, it, maybe it takes a year to start making good money from a blog, or maybe two years, because you have to find your voice, you have to generate traffic, but if you already have the followers, you can skip that first year and you go straight, you, essentially you instantly have traffic because you can send all your own, you, you already have uh, enough followers that you can drive directly to your site and you can instantly monetize it, instantly. So I know a lot of people here have a lot more followers than me and if I had access to your audience, uh, I'd be a lot richer. So thank you so much. Again, sure. for being here. Thank you for the story as well.